This is the only study looking at the non-physician members of the four resuscitated surgical teams. What we found is that the active duty members compared with the Army Reservist teams have similar military and combat experience. But relative to the active duty components, Army Reservist team members have significantly greater clinical experience. There is a strong need for all the team members to embed within military civilian partnerships to maintain their clinical proficiency in order to deliver safe and effective care downrange to our wounded warriors. The bottom line is, you know, we, we knew there had been quite a bit published already that was specific to surgeons and their clinical practice in the military, their caseloads, the amount of time it would take them to reach clinical mastery. But you know, anyone who practices trauma knows that this is not a individual sport, it's a team sport. Uh, and you can have the best trauma surgeon in the world, but if they're not supported with some decent folks on their trauma team, you know, in the resuscitation area, uh, in the operating room, in the ICU, those trauma patients still aren't going to do very well. The Army identified years ago the need to establish one military civilian training site, a Rider Trauma Center, University of Miami. And out of this experience, we then wish to quantify and, and really fine tune how can we optimally prepare these teams. So finding about their experience before can help us ensure they fill those gaps which are necessary for optimal outcomes.